Welcome back and let's talk about 10 most profitable GPUs and GPUs that have the fastest return on investment time because return on investment is more important than the profits that your card makes because if some GPU costs $1000 and it makes $1 profit per day it will take you 1000 days to pay off that GPU but if you have a cheaper GPU that costs $500 but it only makes 40 cents per day it will take you longer than 1000 days even though that GPU is cheaper. So for this calculation I'm going to use nice hash profitability calculator and I'm going to get all of the GPU costs from the Amazon. And I have chosen only the GPUs from the last year so that are the GTX 1000 series and the RX 500 series plus the Vega 56 and Vega 64 cards. And the problem with profitability right now is that uh, GPU prices went down just a little bit, like 10 or 20% in the last month, but the profitability with mining went down a lot more. So the GPU prices didn't follow that profitability, so the return on investment or ROI just increased instead of going down or staying the same. So for all this I made a chart in the Excel so you're going to be able to see all of those most modern GPUs from 1 to 13 based on their profitability and the return time. So let's take a look at that chart and find out which GPUs are the most profitable right now. So over here it's uh, the name of the GPU as the name says. Over here is the price and this is the price from the Amazon in the US dollars. This uh, dollar per day means if you wouldn't have to pay for any electricity cost. So this is just the pure profit without electricity included. This is how much your GPU would make in a month, but not just this number multiplied by 30, but the profits that that card made in the last month. And this can cha change based on the profitability of some coins on the single day, or if some coins really go up in the value for like a few minutes and you make few cents in just a few minutes. So return on investment time, this 5 cents means that your electricity cost is 5 cents and I made a chart from 5 to 20 cents. So for example, this GTX 150, 2GB version, makes only 30 cents per day and that would mean that it takes you 633 days to get that $190 that you paid for your GPU or 19 months. And of course mostly people don't have free electricity and some of the best rates that you can get are like 5 cents per kilowatt hour. And still with 5 cents per kilowatt hour it will take you 826 days to pay off that GPU. And let's take it something more reasonable like 12 cents. It will still take you 1462 days to just pay off that one GPU because you only make 13 cents in profits every single day. And so this number 11 means that this GPU ranked 11th most profitable GPU on our chart where we have 13 different GPUs. And GTX 1050 Ti is ranked number 9 and it costs $290 so that is just a little bit more and it has 4 GB of VRAM but it still only makes 37 cents per day and it is just a little bit better than the 1050 card. So let's take a look at the most profitable card and this is the GTX 1060 3 GB version and you can get them really cheap on Amazon right now it is $270 and it's not really so cheap because the MSRP for that card is $199 so $270 is still a little bit more than you would have to pay just like 6 months ago and this card makes all that money back in 458 days if you don't have to pay for electricity but if you have to pay for electricity it will take you like 2 years to pay off that GPU. So as you can see rates are really really terrible and we really need some bull run on those altcoins to just start getting some of the profits back because mining like this when it takes you two years to pay off a single GPU it's not really worth it for a lot of people unless you have maybe a thousand GPUs and every GPU makes maybe like 30 or 20 cents per day then you will be making like 300 to 200 dollars per day but you will still need to have insane amount like thousand GPUs. 
So the second most profitable is 1070 with uh, 463 days. And let's take a look at number three. And this is where it starts to get interesting. So RX 570, four gigabyte version actually has faster return on investment than RX 580, four gigabyte version. And that difference is just because of the coins that single card can mine. So let's say RX 570 gets to mine a lot more Equihash than the RX 580 because algorithm switching switches that 580 to mine something different that is not the most profitable thing at the time. And this is where we can see that algorithm switching still hasn't been 100% fixed because something like this when the RX 570 makes more money than the RX 580 should actually never happen. And this was a real surprise to me when I have seen the Vega 56 and 64 cards. So those Vega cards are the worst on our list. They are number 12 and the number 13. And that is because of the high price that they have. So Vega 56 is going for $755, the cheapest version that I was able to find. And Vega 64 is going for $949. And they are making just a little bit above dollar. So Vega 56 with $1.05 and 64 with $1.14. So that is this almost the same profit as the GTX 170 Ti which costs almost 50% less than the Vega 64. So the Vega 56 has return of 790 days without electricity cost and Vega 64 has 832 days without electricity cost. So things have changed a lot. Before when Nvidia didn't have really good drivers and they wasn't any good mindless for Nvidia, AMD cards were absolutely obliterating Nvidia. But right now, as you can see, some cards that were the fastest at the mining like Vega 56 and 64 are now actually the worst cards that you can buy. And those cards would have to cost about $500 to be able to compete with NVIDIA right now. And this is just a huge surprise because if you even have to pay like 10 cents per kilowatt hour, it will take you more than a thousand days to get return on your investment. And a lot of people have built rigs with like six of those cards or even like up to 13 of those cards and they cannot even make profit right now. If you just scroll up here, you can see that if you are paying 20 cents per kilowatt hour on a lot of those cards, you would, you would never make that money back. Because some of those cards, you even have to pay more in electricity than you would be making per day. And the card that you have the worst rate is the RX, is the RX Vega 64, where you actually lose 27 cents per day just by mining you have to pay 20 cents per one kilowatt hour and some people have to pay even more than that but i didn't put that into the calculations since if you're paying more than 20 cents you are losing money 100 percent of the time and if you see like this uh, one cent in profits per day for gtx 1052 gigabyte with 19,000 days to return on your investment this is just not worth mining unless you have something like 10 cents or less than that. So this chart will be down in the description if you just want to download it and take a look for yourself. And um, let me know what you think about it in the comments and see you soon in another video. Bye.